All right. Well, may as well freaking end this on anything I can think of, because there isn't really a lot to go over, unfortunately, because this game doesn't have a lot of extra, but I'll go over what I can. Then again, it looks like this would have been one of those things that would have been more timely if I did it when the game got released. By the way, welcome everybody to the one bonus episode for Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. This is your host, the MJ 406. And well, I realized there actually wasn't much I could do now. I mean, there's always a lot of stuff to check from your previous files. I can always try to restart the game and look at things, but you know, unless I was going to play the whole fucking game again, which I don't really feel like doing, it's not really worth doing. Maybe you can always go back and look at all the mission briefings. You look at photos you've taken if you actually freaking did them. And forgot. Metal Gear Online was a thing. I don't remember what it did for the game, though. You don't have any photos at all! You never took a single photo! I guess it was there if you really wanted to share some photos you took of the game, which I guess was bigger back then. Also, the extras. This is something I would have probably been used to Metal Gear Online, but it looks like with version 2 of the game, they got rid of it altogether. You try to connect. Network server errors occurred. I guess they got rid of that along with, like, late in the PS3's life cycle, I suppose. There are passwords you can enter, however, to unlock some things. Which I guess I can enter some of them. Because I did actually get a list of some of the passwords we have here for getting some things. Such as this one. Eight. Hey. Oh, God. Hang on. What's the backspace button? Oh, square. Okay. AOT, AOT, try, KMYM, whatever that means. Oh, wait, what? AOT, AOT, try, KMY, oh, KMYN. God damn it. I can't friggin' enter anything right. KMYN. I'm always really bad at these. See? You get password failure, you hit the wrong password, you get password recognized if you get it right. That apparently would have locked you the Altair costume. That's when the Assassin's Creed thing comes in. Apparently you played well enough to get the Assassin's Emblem. You could actually earn yourself basically Assassin's Creed influenced um costume. So, you know, it's kind of cool if you want to unlock it on your own, but they have ways to unlock some of these things for you on their own. This, for example, D-N-T-K-K-H-K-T-M-M. Now I'll unlock a Dreven face camo, so I can look like Dreven. That sounds useful. There are other things you can unlock in here, such as a lot of songs, along with guns. Whatever, and also with whatever scanning plug S is. But, you do have another weapon you can get from the previous game, although I think getting good enough ranks can unlock some of this stuff anyway. Then again, I just do not feel like going through the effort to have to play this game a second time. I also looked up something. Apparently, if you die and then contact Rose Meal after dying, she'll say she had like a... I think her or Snake will say something like had a weird... She'll say she had a weird dream, like, based on the way you died. Like, apparently if you drowned or, or like, suffocated, she, like, said she had a dream of drowning and Snake said he needed to do something about watching his O2 gauge. <laughs> And, yeah, I keep realizing there's a lot of weird extra things with some of these, these games. Yep. That last password I ent entered, PKHHNWHSJT, unlocked the Patriot gun. So, yep, here you go. Now they'll tell you all these things I unlocked. So, there you go. We'll go use them after meeting up with Metal Gear Mark II, obviously. Face camera driven. And the Patriot will become useful after meeting up with Metal Gear Mark II. I believe that still has infinite ammo like it did in Metal Gear Solid 3. I believe what, that's one of the things they'll consider the special items that kind of, I guess, get rid of some of the dreaming you could have. But there's a lot of password running a lot of things. I also want you to know how to get every single emblem in the game. Which, by the way, the Assassin's Emblem that would get you that all-to-year cost automatically. That, for example, is being in the game with over 50 knife kills, over 50 CQC holds, and 25 or less alerts. So basically... You basically knife kill a lot of people with CQC to get that. They're showing you 100 enemies to death for bear, shake 50 enemies for items for ants. 
Use the scanning plug S or syringe to fit the enemies from the B. Oh, okay. I guess the scanning plug is something different. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of things to tell you how to get out. The only thing I really have to show off is really just, well, the virtual range. If you want to practice a lot of the guns, this is what you have to really, you know, get used to a lot of the weaponry of the game and try to, you know, really experiment. Find out how every gun is useful, what makes every gun work. Like, yeah, it shows some of the great potential a lot of the... <sighs> yep. There you go. Just triangle to make people suffocate. Oh, so this is how the virtual range works, huh? Oh, damn it. Oh, you need to have the stun knife in particular, though. Okay, you can hold on to the right stick to basically try to get them to talk. But I'd rather kill you. Also, I imagine holding R1 and then mashing it. Or just holding R1 can choke them out. Okay. You'll hold the CQC button afterwards, you can choke them out. Okay. Yeah, basically you can practice all the weapons you have. All the weapons you acquired, you can mess with. Which, yep. I guess basically I'd really look through and see a lot of the stuff I want to deal with. That's really most of the extras they have for this game, which is actually kind of upsetting. I was expecting a little more, but... Eh. At least you really want to practice all the stuff you have. You have this whole... You know... You have all this to mess with. You really want to see what you can do. Also, can you, like, mess with the weapons in a certain way? Can you, like... Um... Can I attach anything? Oh, wow. As you, you use a grenade launcher without having to switch weapons. Master key. Underbarrel shotgun. So you can basically add these things to some of these weapons. God damn. Eat shit. <laughs> oh, they let you see how much damage you do. That's nice. Well, hey. At least you have a good thing to do to be able to practice all your weapon rate. As well as all the hold-ups you could want to do. If you hold a weapon... Oh, they let do it as blue if you, uh... Do something CPC related. Okay. So you either have to use the stun knife... Or nothing be able to do this. Okay. And well, if you don't like the plain emptiness, I guess you can always... Yeah. Just try to switch to the music. So don't forget, this works like a freaking iPod, which is really freaking weird. I still love they did this, too. Like, like why? Oh, yeah. Look at that. They have music for other numerous games throughout the series. But yeah. At least you can do whatever you want to try to mess with people. Oh, damn it. I wanted to see what I could do with a stun knife. Hmm, I wonder. Right. Well. Okay. But wow, you really pull people over like that? That just feels embarrassing. Yeah, I gotta say though, playing combat in this series is still kinda dumb. Oh god! I like knee him in the head. Christ. Oh, I guess they have those there so you can like try to mow you can try to like hit people in a line, maybe. Right, you gotta get behind somebody and hold the control stick to do the throwdown. I mean, hey, at least they allow you to spare with everything. Yeah, it really isn't a lot to this bonus episode, unfortunately. But yeah! You do a lot of experimenting, at least. Okay! They could try to show something off. I could think of something, but... Yeah! At least you can still look up a bunch of the passwords to enter a lot of things. They have a lot of songs you need to get, a lot of the different handguns. The one camo and face cam I showed you, you got her passwords for. 
So you have some stuff you can get. I mean, yeah. There's only a lot of different parts of the game for certain things. Like, I forgot the whole controller thing was a big part. Like, you know how they... I was trying to think. Like, yeah, basically... There's the one part of the Psycho Mantis thing, how it basically relived the Metal Gear Solid 1 stuff. Apparently I used the right controller. Apparently I used a 6-axis controller. That doesn't have the rumble feature. So you complain about the rumble being there. It's supposed to get a voice clip of Naomi saying, No more massages for you, Snake. Referencing the first game, apparently. If you didn't use a dual shock. Now you realize the thing. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff I realized you could do. Oh. If only it was somewhere I was near a fight I could easily get to with freaking. Oh yeah, there's Vamp as well. Apparently, if you have something called the Solar Gun, you can take out Vamp in one shot with it, because apparently he's a weakness to light, because you know he's like a vampire. <laughs> there's also the thing of the beauty space doing a photo shoot, you play a certain song. And apparently. Yeah, it gets weird if you like stand around and do nothing for a few minutes in the beauty modes of them. Which I always thought was weird they had that to begin with. There's also something with setting a certain date for the Nomad during the cutscenes of the mission briefings. Apparently it's Christmas and we'll see Christmas lights hanging around. You set it for Halloween, the date on the PS3, there'll be a pumpkin there. There's so many friggin' throwbacks to things. Oh, there's one thing I can show off. Okay. I'll take a lot of the extra stuff I can show just to make a point. But yeah. Alright. Let me just show you some examples of some of the things we can do here. Because, uh, oh god. So, what is it bearing? So! Yeah, one of the examples! There are a lot of the dogs here! I can basically, you know, they care for me. I can also choose to be a dick and start putting them down. Like, oh god! What the hell did I do to you? I put. I didn't even do anything to harm that thing! You wolves, leave me alone! Yeah, you can, you can kill the wolves. I was trying to think. Are they going to be mad at me for doing that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? What did I do? Oh. You see? You kill the wolves, they get upset. Snake? Oh, Rose. It's you. Why are you mad at me? I'm glad to see you're safe. You're not hurt too seriously, are you? No. God damn it. I'll live. Yeah, I'm I fine. Was listening in on the B&B stories, too. Oh, yeah. You can also talk to Rose, I guess, after these. Those things happen every day. Another nice reminder. But you're right. You're never That's definitely here. worth listening to the frickin' uh such unimaginable trauma. Um, Hearing the cries yeah, Kodak calling everybody after the head, other things. To Everything else that happens. Rage. These are textbook clinics. I should remember to do that more, but yep, there's always a lot more Kodak call context. Right. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. I can't believe anybody would coerce them into entering battle in their state. Yeah. Just also, by the way, something stupid to note. Their combat if I keep moving it's my no controller, no CSP member. <laughs> her fucking boobs no move. This is ridiculous. <laughs> would ever treat another like human why? Like that. Why with this? That was one of the things I saw. That's. Listen, lady. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have conscience. A matter of conscience. <laughs> Without the proper treatment, their symptoms will worsen, eventually leaving them unfit like, God for combat damn it. entirely. And that can't be good for their I hate that things like that. Maybe not, but it suits me just fine. Snake. Look, maybe it sounds callous to you, but that's how things are out here. We're talking about survival. Yeah, damn right. Well, yes, but I know what you're trying to say, and your heart's in the right place. Yeah, maybe you're right. I am. Um, I'm sorry I lashed out like that. Forget about it. Snake. There's only one of those things left. Stay focused. The end is in Yeah, I really should have done more codec calls. I really should have kept that in mind. Hang on, do you have anything else to say about what I just did? Snake, a link between yeah, there we go. Animals <laughs> and <-social> <laughs> they're very upset. <laughs> was established a long time ago. What? They're wolves! I'm sorry, they're attacking me! For no reason, we will be forced to conduct a thorough psychological... Jesus Christ! Well, then again... Return. It really was very unnecessary. <laughs> this is Rose. How can I help? I need a psych check. You do not need a psych check. Everything's fine. I think there's another conversation I can have if I 
do this numerous times as well. Hello, Snake. What do you have for me, Rose? Good for you, Snake. You're taking great care of your psyche. No okay. Nothing there. All right, let me try it again. Yes, Snake. Just here for my checkup. <laughs> your psyche is in excellent condition. I just keep contacting her about it. Good to go. Great. Thanks. Snake, what's gotten into you? I mean, you know I'm always here for a talk as long as it doesn't Oh god, with the you mission, keep repeating. But... That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I just uh... <laughs> Hello, Snake. What do you have for me, Rose? Hmm. You've got plenty of sight. So yeah, it's you worth repeatedly talking to her too, to apparently. All right then. Snake, your psyche is right where it needs to be. Yeah, Focus I know. Your energy on the mission. Good luck. Let me keep going. I want to see if something else comes up. Hi, this is Rose. I need an update on my psyche. You can really just keep doing this for that. Keeping your psyche up better than I expected. Apparently, there's eventually a conversation that can come up with where Campbell gets involved. Snake, your psyche is right where it needs to be. Oh, damn it! I was hoping I was gonna get that. No. Oh, hi, Snake. Rose. Good for you, Snake. You're taking great. Trying to see if I get a different conversation based on this. Apparently, there's one where basically Campbell jumps in and says something about it. Focus your energy on the mission. But I can't seem to get it. Damn it. Need something? What's up, Doc? Your psych is looking good right now. Then again, I was really hoping I'd be able to get some of this extra stuff. What's on your mind? Just checking in. There doesn't seem to be any absent. Snake, your psych is. Alright, they're really not going to give me anything else, damn it. They have a lot of different alternative Hello, ways to start the cutscene. Yeah, I'm for... If you're that full of energy, there's nothing for me to worry about. God damn it. You're doing fine, Snake. I was really hoping you'd get something. Apparently, oh, hi, Snake. apparently, eventually, if you do this Your enough, is in excellent condition. well, Everything Campbell will jump in and talk about, job. like, Rose's cooking or something. <laughs> apparently, he ridicules her cooking, which is actually kind of funny. Oh. He's still mad when they go on the walls. Oh. <laughs> what? Am I really that much of a monster? I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought they were threatening me. Nice to know they also comment on you killing those, because it's so unnecessary to do that. Oh, God. But yeah, there's always a lot of things to look into with a lot of these games. Like, that's another thing that helps with replay value. You can definitely get a lot of appreciation for a lot of the extra stuff there. Oh, God! We also have another freaking difficulty. The Boss Extreme. Those who want to play the want to experience the ultimate thrills. Oh, God. I hope that's not like the European extreme they had in 2 and 3, where you get caught, you're done. I just wanted to show one thing. If there was something else I could do, I didn't think about. Remember where it was? We are watching this one program, this cooking show or whatever. Apparently. Bomb Shelter Buffet. Ocean of Gossip. <laughs> Seven Circle. The fuck? One question left. <laughs> now, yeah, Why do I have like a TV thing for this? Oh god, David Hayter! <laughs> thrown into the turbulent waters of adolescence in Kobe, What the fuck? Japan. There's a lot of this apparently. You stay afloat. You mean <laughs> He's wearing the eye patch too, yo! I gotta say, dude, uh, I well, love I David Hayter, dude. Uh, like transferred overseas and his voice is definitely iconic really for this series as well, but uh, I was really grateful. Dude, David Hayter is great. I think somebody commented on my channel. Actually, I don't know if somebody did, but I know I saw something apparently. Pardon me. You can tell. In Mel Your Solid Twin Snakes, the remake oh, oh, for the GameCube secret, of Mel Your Solid One. I have a tattoo of Kobe. Apparently, tattoos. I don't think they were gonna break back a lot of the original voice actors, yeah. but they did because um, apparently David Hayter was gonna get a lot of money for his voice yeah. role of doing Snake and Twin Snakes, and apparently he took a pay cut so they could. What do you mean? Make sure I, I all the original voice actors, oh, well, or at least the vast majority of them, movie, from Solid uh, One were able to come back and do David Twin Snakes. Which is pretty fucking Here, awesome of him. It sounds like David Hayter's an awesome guy. Oh, the eye patch. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty cool, actually. Gives me uh, the second like, solid eye. And, and... <laughs> and well, it's pretty cool they have freaking. <laughs> Who the fuck? Thanks, I didn't realize that this is what this was. What the fuck? Alright. I've definitely started to feel a lot of the Japanese influences in this. Hideo, the video channels, yep. 
Yeah, it looks like... Alright, you can spend a lot of time doing this. Ah, oh, that's the Ocean of Gossip thing. That's Seventh Circle thing. So you can really spend your time watching the entirety of some of these channels if you really wanted. I see. So that's where, like, the ending segment of a lot of these videos come from. Oh, cool! Another thing, nice reminder, there's a lot of secrets in these games. They hide a lot of things, like, damn. Those things, feel like the developers really had a lot of fun making these games, because... God damn. They really Evolution try to do a lot of interesting things. Well, then again, oh, and then they end it. Okay. <laughs> but hey, it's just nice to prove there's a lot of great replay value in some of this, so, you know. It's worth taking your own time to dig into these. You really want to really take the time to appreciate everything these games have to offer. But, well, I could only spend, like, all day doing this if I really wanted, which I honestly don't feel like doing. Because, like I said, this game has worn me out. That's the thing. I was willing to play, replay through three numerous times to try to find all the face camos and the camouflages. For this one... Oh, yeah, that's another thing I have. Apparently, I could have shown off. Let me load up another spot. Because I could probably try to load somewhere where I'm not in immediate danger. Yeah, let me load here, for example. There might be maneuver things I could do here, but I don't know for sure. Like, yeah. The whole DualShock 3 controller definitely made a great use in here. At least with the Metal Gear Solid games, I also make decent use of the hardware. Which also makes it feel like it'd be wrong to try to play Metal Gear Solid 3 on anything that's not a PlayStation 3, you know? It's kind of hard when you definitely develop for a single platform. It's very hard to try to translate a lot of things to a different platform when it was made with one particular in mind. Now, don't save. I run show something off. Like the Octocam I have here. It blends in basically the environment I'm in. Apparently... If I shake the controller, it goes back to a neutral setting. Which is interesting to know. That apparently... Yeah, you can get, basically get rid of whatever camo you have with the Octo camo if you just shake your controller. Like, yo. I came with a lot of interesting things with this. Then again, he's got this is the basically fourth slash fifth game they've done of this style, so you know. They definitely had to have learned after a while about how to really make the most out of, you know, the camo thing. I will say another thing I never mentioned the end of last time. I do kind of appreciate the Octo camo, where you always have, you know, try to swap to all the other camos manually if you really wanted to try to, um, uh, you know, play the Metal Gear Solid 3 way. But the Octo camo is a nice way to just basically be like, all right. If you just want to have some basic cameras to get through here, you're good. You don't need to worry about it otherwise. I forgot there's something else I could do here, apparently. Remember how we had electric floor? I think there's something I could do if I use the Metal Gear Mark III. Go ahead, Metal Gear Mark III. I also didn't use you enough. Oh, right! Pressing X activates the camo. This is something I definitely underutilized in the game. So they could have been very helpful if I let it. Oh, God! Where are you going, man? Oh! Right. Oh, right. That just distracts. Okay, never mind. I was saying, I thought there was something here where basically I could power on the electric floor again. I think it said I could basically do it if I really wanted. Which honestly just sounds like a dick move, but... You know? It would be really funny. I just have to power this off. Oh, here we go. So yeah! Apparently I could have done this to deal with the, uh, the gecko as well. Apparently I could have gone out of my way to, uh, electrify the floor again so I could, uh... Yeah. I electrify the floor, and that way I would be able to kill that gecko. I think you get a lot of dreaded for it, too, which is kind of cool. But, I do have to shock myself, too. <laughs> Ow, what the fuck, Otacon? What the fuck? <laughs> that is fucking awesome! I love that that's 
a thing I can do. Okay, Snake. The path is Yeah, clean. thanks. Head for the first floor. Use the elevator to get up there. Yeah, thanks a lot, Otacon. <laughs> oh, hey, God. Snake. Something I've been meaning As long as I just remember, I talk to the Codex to people numerous times. Do a lot of interesting conversations. How'd you do it, anyway? Oh, yeah. Oh. There we go, another nice Grenades. throwback conversation. That's it? You didn't use an anti-tank missile or something? I didn't have one! Didn't have one. Exactly! Your technique is kind of... Well, I put this? <laughs> Why would you use Archaic grenades for a tank? Fighting tanks. Honestly, I don't think it'd work on today's main battle tanks. Well, that's how I did it. <laughs> you want me to say. <laughs> you know, I asked an active duty army officer once... If an infantryman had to take on a tank one on one, how should Oh come on, a realistic yeah. expectation? Don't his answer. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yeah. He swore there's no way in hell a single infantryman could well, take on a tank by himself. I called it! Yo, oh, it's awesome. Interesting. <laughs> I always suspected there was a little something crazy about you, Snake. But hearing that story, now I know it. You're nuts. <laughs> single handedly taking out a tank. Yeah, I mean that's crazy. You're insane. But that's made awesome. Oh, God, is this your idea? <laughs> yes. You're the toughest, craziest, most hardcore <laughs> badass on the planet. You're the shit. The shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, that's just a nice reminder. I'll just use this episode as just a nice reference. Dig through the freaking codec calls. I know people told me to do that all the time, but uh, yeah, just a nice reminder for people just watching the videos. That reminds me. It's Snake. definitely worth you looking through all these to the comm tower. get a lot of the nice, interesting back commentary and backstory. A lot of the that was a game fight. and characters. A lot of the looking back, a lot of weird gunship. situations. Up till then, and some nice social commentary, and they're like the animal abuse thing. Going one on one against an attack chopper was an act of suicide. But yeah, I thought only Hollywood action stars did that kind of. Especially thing. this segment, of but course. Looking look back, easy. a lot of things. The first game is like, you know how ridiculous you. this was. This is really. But you were all like, "Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. <laughs> Real cool, like, like it was nothing." All right, enough chit chat. Let's get going. We got a long way to go to Rex's hangar. Yeah. You're right, Snake. Yeah, it's just a nice reminder. You can always dig through for some nice, fun commentary Snake, or some of these things. To the first floor. It's always nice to at least check in on everybody, see what they have to say about every little What's instance. What's on your mind? Just checking in. Good morning. Oh, man. I hate the first time I talk of Rose in a new area, though. I have to freaking go through the whole up, Snake? psych That'll lecture again. For me. Good for you, Snake. And Snake, what's gotten into you? And yep, talked I mean, to her numerous you know times. She was like, "What the?" Talk as long as it doesn't interfere with the mission, but I mean, it's not interfering with the mission. What's There's nothing mind? going on. Just checking in. Hmm. Snake, you're. Right. Man, I really wish I get that one oh, of freaking. Hi, snake. I really wish I get to that one of freaking. Of, of freaking Campbell commenting on her cooking. Need that would have been thing? really nice. But no, I guess there's probably certain. Times of the game you're able to do it. Oh, hi, Snake. Maybe times that oh. he's actually there. Like I could have done it probably during the psychomancy. No, probably not What's during up, that. Snake? We're too focused on the boss fight to probably go to that. Believe me, it's not interfering in the mission. I really want to talk to you, Rose. You're so interesting. You're the best character in Elder Song too. Oh God. Rose here. How's it going? Super. I'm impressed, Snake. You're cute. <laughs> Snake your son. Okay. Oh well. I was really hoping I'd get this something, but I guess not. If you're that full I'll just ignore it. Okay. But yep, this is a nice little reminder. You can always check in on a lot of extra context and stuff. Oh curiosity though. Is where really these are the only two I have to contact though? You think I'd be able to like secretly contact Revit or something? Nope. Can't contact Camel either. It, it, that's the other thing. There's not a lot of codecs in this game. Like, you get so little of the codec, it's kind of unfortunate. Like, for real. I really wish you could have gotten more out of this. But, you know, they had a lot more fun coming with a lot of extra stuff in Melier Solid um, 3, it feels like. They still have their fun Easter eggs in every game. It feels like 3 that had the most fun, like, coming with a lot of extra shit, but, yeah. Man, 
Let's just shame. There's really not much outside the main game, but hey. At least you're near the virtual range to do your experiments. You have extras if you look up the passage to enter stuff. I don't know what I don't know what Metal Gear Online entailed, but I'm sure it would have been fun to at least, you know, go into it. To like. Huh. You know? I don't know what Metal Gear Solid Online is about. I don't really know if there's another way to really go into it, unfortunately. It's the only thing to let me have. And again, I don't have a lot of songs here. I have very little regard to actual songs on this. What songs did I unlock, anyway? Right. Oh, then I level 3 warning, 20 year history. Oh, right! There's this, by the way! Apparently, we use this during the beauty segments. The uh, beauties, the beauty forms will start dancing. <laughs> and you pause with the song going on. And actually, you know what? I could probably just show that off real quick before we end this. But yeah. At least you get a lot of fun, a lot of extra stuff in this. I didn't go out of my way to find all the iPod stuff, but it is nice to look back on music history as well as, you know, just some weird, fun stuff. Well, I guess that was their way of, um, incorporating some of the music stuff from, uh... Yeah, it was their way to include some of the music stuff from Metal Gear Solid 3 that they had with the extra codex, but... You know. It, that's just what I feel about Metal Gear Solid 4. It's like 3 without all the f fun depth that, that made Metal Gear Solid 3 such a legendary game. It wasn't nearly as memorable as 3 because of... Well, some of the things it just was lacking. Do I have the iPod item on me? I didn't think I did. I also didn't use that many healing items except for rations where I really needed it, which sounds part of the course for for me. But hang on. I gotta go to the iPod. I gotta put on some tunes. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean that is weird they have this work like this, but I guess they had to think of one way to do it. Well, at least they have some fun music here. Okay, I guess it's only during the beauty fight she does this. Oh no, she is dancing to it a little bit. So is she monitoring me? <laughs> yeah, she is dancing to it. <laughs> yep, there she goes. <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, God. How do people find out these things? Where is she going? But, yep. Just a nice, friendly reminder. There's always a lot to do when it comes to, you know, experimenting the game and really trying to do whatever the hell you feel like it. Why'd she run off? Well... I'll let her do that, but yep. There you go, you play this song, apparently, you get the beauties, as well as, well, yeah, Sonny, as well. Oh, oh, right, I wasn't on contact with Otacon, my bad. Hear that, Snake? Yeah. Oh, I didn't go over this either. May as well go over this her last family. thing. It must be tough for them in this environment with all the people gone. Oh, yeah, that's true. Aren't like other dogs. They're closer to wolves in nature. Happier living in the wild than being kept as pets. Yeah. Even more so now that they're guarding the grave of a loved one. You sure about that? Trust me. I used to live with dogs just like these. Oh, uh, yeah. I know what I'm talking about. He was raising before okay. Solid One happened, that's right. You say so. I forgot that was a thing he did. The Calm Towers. This is where you fought Liquid's Hind D. Yep. That was a tough scrape. But you still managed to shoot down his gunship. Up till then, I'd heard that even with a man pads, going one on one. Okay, we did go over this one at least, but. An act of it's not easy. Really? Nothing hurt. Oh, God. It's nice that Okai will still Snake. nerd out to We're some of the frickin'. <laughs> the things that Snake does, too. The warehouse at the north end. But yeah. It's always nice to appreciate a lot of the characters the that they're, you know, the our personalities. That's another thing that's helped the series stand out. But, you know, 
it's on you if you want to keep replaying the game to really dig in and experiment all this. It's really all I can say, but hey. That is, I guess, the replay value of this game as a whole. All there is the core game, but playing it enough times, you have a lot of things to dig into and discover. Man, this is kind of a worthwhile, worthless freaking bonus episode, wasn't it? I may as well do one last thing real quick since it's on my mind. Because, well... Actually, should I? Nah. I'm sorry, I wasted everybody's time. I also do hate the game had to have a big install before you actually get going. That's another thing that was weird of this. Why did you have you install all the acts? You gotta install every act separately so you had to wait three minutes in between. Or before you start the whole game, just install everything in a 15 minute install so you can just have the whole game on there immediately. Man, this really was the beginning of games having just the... Of, like, not having any of the game installed on the disc. You have to do mandatory download. Uh, actually, now I think about it. This game, I don't know if it did that with the network. But either way, that's another thing I hate about modern gaming. Don't you hate it how there are some games you basically have the disc? You have to download basically the whole game anyway. Or something's piecemeal. Like the Switch version of the, uh... You know, Switch version of the Batman Arkham Collection. The Batman Arkham Trilogy. You have the first game on there, you have the second, third game you gotta download. Horsepower Rating 9 Trilogy. First game's on the cartridge slash disc. You gotta download the other two. Like, what the fuck's having the... What's the point of having a physical copy of a thing you can't even have the complete fucking game? God damn it. And again, as long as we can carry these digital downloads with us for uh, for the rest of the future generations, they'll be fine. Ah, uh, Mel, you're solid. You're a fun series, and dabbling in you is part of the fun. It's really all this episode is about. I'm so sorry this was such a worthless episode, but... You know, just kind of prove the point. It's worth replaying this game to dig into a lot of the extra stuff. I just don't feel like digging into it myself. I mean, I have to replay the entire freaking game. I just am not in the mood for it. You know, all interesting conversations with Otakon about a lot of the situations. You have Rose's psycho analysis, including times you die. You have a lot of interesting stuff, such as doing interesting things with bosses, such as hitting Vamp with a solar gun. Apparently, you shook the controller a lot when Psychomantis freaked out. You get some images of Hino Kojima flashing the screen as well. There's him in first person viewpoints as well, like Solid 3. But because of how much waste of time those episodes were in Solid 3, I think I'm fine not doing anything else for this. I'm good. But yep, just a nice reminder. Really explore these games in depth if you really want to get the most out of it. As you be expected, but... Well, there you go. I'll just say it officially is just to put it on record. <sighs> nice, fun times this series. <clears throat> where you can have a lot of jo fun general... A lot of general just hijinks of fun just from digging around in the extra stuff for the game. But anyway! Yep, there you go. God, this is a waste of time. But yep, I may as well use this episode basically saying this is the end of my Metal Gear Solid 4 run. There's not a lot left to go over, so, you know, dig on your own time if you can get this game and want to go through it yourself. You got the Metal Gear Solid Collection Volume 2, right? Finally off a of PlayStation 3 platform, which is good. But it just doesn't feel as... It just feels most genuine on the PS3, you know? Either way, I may as well go over stuff on my channel, so... We still have Pokemon White going through the post-game, which is going to take longer than I expected. And, well, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's World of Light is going to take a fucking eternity, which is not what I expected, sadly. And Rayman 1 is making its progress, I guess. Hopefully getting close to the end. If you guys are wondering to come up next for the channel. Like I said, Metal Gear Solid is not bad, unfortunately. Will be a long time before I jump back to this series, depending on what I want to do. Although, Metal Gear 1 and 2 is definitely an option. I have plans for games I've really wanted to get to on this channel. Well, I have a plan for a game in a series that I'm a fan of. Play a particular game I'm not a big fan of, but... You know, I figured I may as well give that game another chance. It's a game I've ridiculed in a certain series for a long time, but, you know... There was a Switch remake that came out for it. So I may as well give it its due diligence and actually give it the chance it deserves for me to appreciate it again. So I heard there are some things that are better than the remake. Although I think they got rid of one of the dungeons that was in the Game Boy Color version. Yeah, it should be pretty obvious what game it is, but yeah. yeah I know what game I'm following up with that, because that's a game I'm looking forward to as well, once Link's Awakening is done. 
I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with the rest of the channel after their projects are done. But at least Tuesday, Thursday, I have that cycle figured out for a bit. But, you know, be sure to stay tuned to my channel for a lot of other projects you want. Because Metal Gear Solid is officially done as far as I'm concerned for my stuff. Unless I really want to dig into the origins of Solid Snake's journey with Metal Gears 1 and 2. I mean, I have the MSX versions on freaking. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 HD, if I really wanted to play those. And, well, I do technically have Metal Gear Solid 5, actually. I actually do have all the Metal Gear Solid games that I think about. It. This is the only one I technically don't own. But I'm done with this game. I gotta give this back to my friend because, well, I may as well say this as well. Special thanks to my friend, Coda9001. He actually had a copy of this game and lent it to me to use for this entire LP. I probably should have mentioned that early on in the LP. I don't remember if I did, but, you know... It's nice to have friends that, can, that are willing to help you out when you need it. Uh, best set 10 bucks I didn't need to spend. Because, you know, I don't think I'd want to own this game myself. Unless I really wanted to get in the collection. But either way, thank you all for joining me once again. See you guys for another game or another project. Be sure to check out the other Mel games in the Metal Gear Solid series I've done if you haven't already. Especially 3. Because, oh boy, I don't think it's ever going to get as good as 3. Then again... I've proven that with my hatred for the cutscenes of this game. So, take care, everybody.